So you've decided to make a leap and learn how to code. First of all, congratulations, that's a first big step. But are you developing habits in the right and best way possible that will help you excel in your technical career as you grow? If you're not, what's going to happen is you're going to have to go back and really reverse engineer a lot of the bad habits you have built. Today, we are going to be talking about how to build the best habits as a developer. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to cover this topic today because as someone who was a self learner, uh, learned how to code, I can tell you firsthand there are so many bad habits that I personally made that now as I am working in the industry, if I'm looking back, I wish I would have had someone to tell me how to have good habits when I'm first starting out. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you for your love, your feedback, your comments, your questions. I love hearing what other content you want me to make and that's really how I make my videos. So if you haven't already, leave down in the comments other questions or video topics you want me to cover. The first habit you need to start developing now is to plan ahead. There are too many times where I see firsthand junior developers diving right into the code, starting to write code without even thinking about the steps that they are going to take or the logic that they are going to create. I remember when I was first learning how to code and I wanted to build a project, I would just think to myself, okay, well, I'll figure it out as I go. And while sometimes that is a necessary mindset to have, especially when you are learning new things, it's so important to take a step back and really think about the big picture. What are we building here? Even if it's just solving an algorithm or something smaller than a full project, what is the end goal? How is the best way we can structure our code for this? What it will do is in the long run, it will save you huge amounts of headaches by having to go back and rework. One thing I really like to do is think of it as a roadmap. Think of it as, okay, if you are building out this project or a big component of a project, is there any methods that will help you with this? Are there any tools or libraries out there that can really help assist you with your development process? Also, I wanna note though, even though planning is so important and ensuring that you really have a full understanding of what you are going to be coding out before you just dive right in, don't get too caught up in planning or over planning that you never actually write code. There is that balance you have to find. Next up, number two habit that you should form early in your coding days is to form a good routine. And what I mean by that is recognize early on when you are most productive, most focused. It's not going to be the same for everyone where it's first thing in the morning, you're very productive and can code a ton or in the evenings. It's going to vary based on who you are and how you focus and what kind of person you are. Once you recognize what kind of person you are and when you can most be focused and at your computer coding, really form a routine around that. It's important to do so because if you are working on hours or parts of the day that you are not typically as motivated or productive, you're going to notice that as much as how much the project you can get done in one day or how much motivation you have. I also really like to have a routine that really centers around getting into the coding mindset. So for me, what it is, is I love to start coding standing up. I know some of you think that's kind of strange, but um, so I raise my desk, my standing desk, and I like to have a cup of coffee or tea next to me. My phone is on silent, no distractions, my doors to my office are closed, and I can completely focus. I know for the next hour, this is me time, this is focus time, and there's no distractions that will stop me. Also too, having it kind of set up and predefined how long I'm going to be coding uh, really helps. So maybe it will be an increment of an hour and then I know after that hour I will get my break. But until then, it's totally fine to focus. Next on the list, habit number three to develop early on is make single purpose functions and test them. This is a tip that comes from clean code and I really like it because too often when I was first starting to learn how to code, I would make functions which have so much different functionality in them that if one area broke, the entire function would broke and break and so much other functionality would fall apart. This theory of creating single purpose functions and being able to test them is really around clean code functions that work, you know, they're doing one thing. I think some people call them actually stupid functions, meaning they really serve one purpose only. The fourth habit that you need to get into right off the gate is to add comments for your future self. So often when we are learning how to code or really any stage in our coding journeys, I find that during the moment when we are writing code or writing a different function, 
we think, okay, there's no way I wouldn't know what this does. This is so obvious. Then we sleep on it the next day or next week we come back to it and we are like, what did I write? So here is your, my biggest piece of advice for you or one that actually I still need to take. So I often forget to as well. And it will save you so much time on going back is write some comments to yourself and make sure that they are kind of right to the point comments, clean comments, not this paragraph of commented text in your code, but just a little comment here and there that really signifies as to what it is doing. This is also a really great practice to get into when you are starting to think of interviews because during your interview process, your technical interview process, they're going to be asking what you are doing and having you explain different pieces of code. So if this is something you're already practicing in your day-to-day -day life and building these habits by writing out comments for your code, you'll already have that kind of muscle or that skill developed that you can just speak about what different parts of your code are doing. Number five on the list is to make a collection of code snippets. And this is something that I actually had to do during my, when I was learning how to code, one of the first kind of things during my coding bootcamp I attended was to make a bunch of uh, snippets that I could reuse in different projects or um, transfer to different pieces of a project, which really entailed if I found I was doing something over and over again, taking that snippet of code and putting it into a file where I can use that collection for other pieces or other projects. So I did this a lot with uh, different regex pieces where, you know, if I'm sifting through a string trying to find something or any really regex things, I have a whole file of them and comments saying what each one does. It saves a lot of time going online and looking up, okay, what could I do to resolve this? I know I did this in another project, so I can just have all of those aligned. The most important part of that though is to make sure you are documenting it well and commenting, leaving comments for what each code snippet is doing because the whole point of this is to speed up the process so you don't want to go to this document and find that you have no idea what each code snippet is doing. Those are my five main habits that I wish I would have developed sooner as a software developer when I was learning how to code. I hope these will help you and inspire you to start right off the gate developing some of these habits so you don't have to correct them later on in your career. That being said, if you are on your career or later on in your career, it's never, there's always new things, new habits you are going to be picking up. So I hope this inspires you to pick up some of them if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.